Welcome to another edition of Smart Chat here on YouTube.com. Um, no, another piece of my childhood has uh, moved on to uh, greater pastures. And Mr. Fuji passed away at 82. And uh, I missed, I thought, you know, just Mr. Fuji, I thought he was older than 82. He To me, he always seemed older than what he is. But uh, Mr. Fuji was one of the most hated characters, I think, in WWE history. But that's what also made him one of the greatest. As uh, Gorilla Monsoon used to say, Mr. Fuji's actions would earn him the nickname of the Devious One. Where the Fuji uses trademarks, you know, with trademarks, it's the salt or the cane, or unleash a plan, like the casket, casket match at the Royal Rumble in 94, he could change the course of a match in an instant. He was truly, you know, ahead of, you know, his time. Uh, you know, along there with Bobby the Brain Ian. Uh, he managed a lot of great wrestlers and tag teams from Demolition, Powers of Pain, Orient Express, Yokozuna. You know, Yokozuna to his first uh, WWE Championship reign in the main event of WrestleMania 9. Uh, and others, or countless others. He was great. Again, he used those cheating tactics to help his man or team win a match behind the ref's back. Just like the salt that he used to uh, blind uh, uh, Bret Hart in that, that famous match in the main event of WrestleMania 9 uh, in Caesar's Palace. The ref obviously didn't see it. And Yokozuna took advantage of that. Even though it was short-lived and one of the shortest WWE title reigns in history. As he lost the belt, you know, minutes later, if you recall. I think he definitely earned his Hall of Fame spot that he got in 2007. Um, he was a great, you know, rest in peace, Mr. Fuji. Hope all is well. Look forward to speaking to you very, very soon.